What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Smile 2. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about the upcoming David Gordon Green Exorcist sequel. And we'll be talking about Saw X. Now just to kick it off, I'm going to start with Smile 2 because the Hollywood Reporter is now reporting that Smile 2 is in the works. Now Parker Finn, who we know is the filmmaker behind 2022's biggest horror hit according to this article. Uh, it's, it's, it's factually true as well. <laughs> uh, Smile has signed a multi-year first look deal with Paramount Pictures. Lips are sealed as far as deals details go, but Parker is expected to write, produce, and direct features in the horror genre. A Smile sequel is one of the priorities. Now, I didn't put up a review for Smile on this channel, but anyone who tries to follow me on my socials knows that it was one of my W's as far as horror goes last year. I found it to be one of the better gimmick horror movies we've had in recent memory. Yes, it was giving ring and it follows vibes. I'm understanding that mentality for most people as well. I do think it excelled at building tension while keeping you intrigued in this familiar but still unnerving story. Now, my guess as far as a narrative direction you would take, given that Kyle Gallner, I see, has already kind of chimed in to kind of uh, just, he tweeted out something to clearly show that he's excited. He, he His character in this movie was named Joel. My prediction is that Joel will be the center of Smile 2. That's an obvious route to go, given that the movie ended with the curse being passed on to Joel. So I'd love to see Kyle Gallner back in more horror projects anyway. So give me more Kyle Gallner in Smile. <laughs> I'm down to see him as the lead of Smile too. I'm wondering if he knows anything about this and that's why his tweet was put out the way he put out or put out the tweet that he did. So we'll find out as this progresses. But yes, Smile 2 is in the works. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if Smile was one of your favorite horror movies last year. It was definitely one of mine. I just wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of all the jump scares that we kept getting but i digress jumping into scream 7 radio silence to me i do not think is going to be doing scream 7 and that's just a vibe again i'm getting from hearing their recent interviews and then more recently like i shared in a tweet earlier today there is a moment during a recent dead meat interview where tyler gillette let it be known that scream 7 is probably already in the works but that he matt and chad radio silence know as much about it as the rest of us but here's the thing that could, of course, just be you telling us what you have to say because you can't actually talk about it. Here's the other thing, though. He did echo what viewer Anon was saying, which is that James and Guy are probably already deep in the writing process. Honestly, I appreciate everything these two have done with five and six. I'm glad they got to be part of a franchise that they love. I don't want them to feel tied to this series, though. I don't want them to come in here and see how fast would they want to fast track these sequels and then be expected to keep up with that just because they're fans. Of course, you can be fatigued, especially if you have other things you want to work on. That's understandable. My advice and my hope is that you guys get to go work on those things. I don't want you to feel confined to just scream. You are more than just scream. I'm glad that these two got to work on five and six. If they do not return for seven, we can still have a competently made scream seven from a different person's perspective of a different person's vision a different duo's vision different individual's vision uh we've seen this franchise shaken up in the past with scream 3 we've seen it more recently with 5 and 6 so if they return for scream 7 that'll be a plus if they don't it's not the end of the world these two have much more i can tell that they want to do that is not just related to scream and i hope they get to do it i don't want them to feel tied down to this franchise i hope they always can just look back and be thankful that they got to be a part of two sequels to a franchise that i know they clearly love of. I just think that they they do want to do more than just scream. It's it's I think that that speaks for itself in some of the interviews that I see. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're human after all. They're they're human. You can be a fan of something and still feel fatigued if you're being told to do it back to back to back. After all, this this is still a job that's being done. So just to jump into The Exorcist, uh, Linda Blair is apparently going to return in David Gordon Green's upcoming Exorcist sequel. Shout out to the person who told me about this back in December. And now shout out to Vera Anand for breaking it more recently in a recent tweet of theirs. So yes, you will have Linda back in the upcoming film coming later this year from David Gordon Green. Ellen Burstyn, we know, is already expected to be a part of this. So my guess is you'll have a been there, done that angle play out. Uh, which is always fun, depending on the execution, because we know that Chris is uh, Reagan's mother. Reagan, of course, played by Linda Blair. 
And I'm assuming these two will come in together to help the new father in this story played by Leslie Odom Jr. I believe after he reaches out to them to help since Chris has already been through an experience like this similar to what she went through again back in the day with Reagan. So now I'm most likely just predicting the synopsis that's out there, but given that we now know that Linda Blair will be participating in this project, it's gonna be these two coming in to lend their help to the new generation and help them defeat the evil that is now taking a hold of Leslie Odom Jr.'s child in the story. Now, you guys can let me know down in the comments section below if you're excited for Linda Blair's return. Do you care? Why do you not care? If you don't care, let me know if you care. What are you hoping she gets to do in the movie? Uh, filming on the sequel, I believe, just recently wrapped as well. My early prediction for me as it pertains to Linda Blair is that she is probably going to end up sacrificing herself to kind of parallel what happened in the original film when she was the one being possessed what i can see happen i can see her sacrificing herself to save this new child that's been possessed i can see them taking that narrative route because this is supposed to be a trilogy i think too if she stays around for the whole trilogy that's fine but i'm just saying just to round this out by talking about saw x saw x plot specifics have been un unveiled thanks to viewer and on now apparently jigsaw's target in this movie is a con man doctor peddling miracle cures for cash much of the game takes place in an abandoned hospital as the doctor is made to see the error of his ways. This lines up with it being John centric, like we've been hearing about and the assumption that with him leaving to go to Mexico, that the film would dabble in him trying to search for a cure. And it seems that's what he is doing, but he comes across somebody who is somebody he wants to t like teach a lesson to because he clearly doesn't appreciate uh, the lives that he's playing with and the he doesn't have a he doesn't hold value or he doesn't really respect the position that he holds either plus we know that Hoffman and Amanda are returning as well so I'll tell you what I'm excited to see this story come to life in October because something is telling me this will be one of my favorite entries as I've stated multiple times when I talk about Saw X my hope is that they find a way to just let this be a nice closing chapter on the contributions Tobin Bell has been making to this franchise since its inception in 2004 and that they can try to move on in advance to a project that does not rely on Tobin Bell because I feel like with this they're kind of admitting that okay Spiral didn't work let's bring back Tobin I hope that this is a success and they can move forward without Tobin let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video